Hello everybody, it's Pastor Israel here bringing you another book review and today's book we're going to look at is Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. This is the memoir by the creator and founder of Nike. This book was amazing and I would like to recommend it to anybody who is going to start something, anybody who's going to start a ministry, start a business, start a company, start, if you're someone who's going to found anything, this book was incredible and what i really loved most about this book was the way um, it touched me not only on an intellectual level but it really touched me on a very emotional level and uh, the writer managed to put together a book that gets you to understand the kind of battles uh, which it takes to start a thing and when he was starting nike um, you see all the trials and tribulations he had to face everything he had to go through in order to build his company and one of the things i love about this book is the way it is structured the majority of this book is not dealing with um the successful side of nike he covers most of this book is dealing with the founding days the days um, before Nike and how Nike got developed and how Nike faced many scares in terms of um, how it could have died before it even blew up and this book um, covers the early stages um, and then the final chapter he just talks about um, where he is today today he is a billionaire he's worth 28 billion dollars and he's the 15th richest man in the world. So these are the top five things I learned from this book. Number one, there are three kinds of people. There are three kinds of people in the earth. And uh, the first kind of people are people who are afraid to start a thing. And the second kind of people are people who are weak in terms of halfway after starting a thing, they get hurt by the adversity and they give up halfway. And then the third kind of people are finishers. And this book is really going to document all the pain and all the struggle it took to develop this, uh, this brand. So there's three kinds of people. Those who are afraid to start, those who uh, give up halfway, and then thirdly, those like us who are going to be the finishers. Number two, uh, one of the things I learned in this book is the power of travel. The power of travel. Before he went to start this company, straight after college, he went on a trip around the world. He started off in Hawaii, then he went to Japan, and uh, he just spent a lot of time just traveling from nation to nation, nation to nation, just getting exposure. And it's from that that a lot of ideas, um, he had his main idea to go into shoes uh, before he went on this trip, but when he went on that trip, it began to crystallize and it all began to make sense as he went from nation to nation. So travel is very important. Make sure that you travel. Number two, um, I mean, number three, the next thing you learn is the power of an idea. When he got the idea to start a shoe company, it wasn't Nike itself. He just got an idea to get into shoes and the first person he shared it with was with his father. And um, his father is the one who paid for his trip to go around the world. This is after he had uh, graduated from Stanford University. And um, you, in this book, you see the power of an idea, the power of committing to an idea. Because I'm telling you, in the first days, of uh, this man's vision it looked like it wasn't going to happen but the one thing you see is the power of committing to an idea to see it through from beginning to end nothing can stop you if you believe in your idea and then um, number four the next thing we see is the power of consistently committing to your idea so one of the things i learned from this book is the commitment it takes to see an idea come to fruition is not child's play when you make up your mind that you're going to do something when you make up your mind that you're going to build a thing you're going to go through many trials through many tests um, this man faced many battles from the beginning of the idea even un until the time it manifested, even until the time it began to succeed. One of the comments he says is the more, um, the more you succeed, the bigger the target on your back. And um, he faced many battles, many court cases, um, many times when he could have lost everything, but he kept committing to his idea um, until the end. And then number five, the fifth thing I learned from this book is the power of people who believe in you the power of people who believe in you 
one of the amazing things I just picked up in this book is throughout the journey of developing uh, Nike, there were strategic people at strategic times who would just come in and simply believe in film night. Whether it was somebody who was willing to quit their job to sell shoes, whether it was his father, whether it was a mentor, whether it was his mother, whether it was his eventual wife. There were so many strategic people who came in strategic times and just simply believed in him. I'm telling you, there's no greater power than people who believe in you. It's important that you believe in yourself, but there's something about uh, people who just come and surround you and believe in you when you are nothing, when it's not apparent, and then in the future, when it becomes apparent, they usually are the ones who reap the biggest reward. And then just another anecdote from this book is, after Nike was now successful, after he had been through all the trials, after he had been through all the tribulations, um, there was a time he was at the Nike campus and he was looking at all the posters of all the people he works with, from Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant to Tiger Woods. And then um, out of nowhere, LeBron James just came and gave him uh, a, a Rolex watch as a gift on the campus of Nike. And um, the gift uh, was, uh, he said, I found this Rolex. I made sure I find this Rolex. This Rolex was made in 1972 because that was when um, Nike was founded. And um, inscribed on that Rolex was, uh, thank you for taking your chance on a young man. And basically, that present really touched him because he says that in his career, his life was all about people just taking a chance and believing in this young man, taking a chance and believing in something crazy. I would encourage you to get this book. Um, it's incredible. It will take you higher. And um, if you're someone who has started something, I'm telling you, it's going to stir up some creativity and some, and some faith inside of you. I encourage you to get this book. It will take you higher. Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Let's be great.